everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're working with Topaz Sharpen AI. I'm calling this one working with extreme out of focus images like this one. I'm gonna show you how we can take this image and go from here and end up here. Now I have some new tips and tricks to show you today, so you wanna stay tuned and watch the entire video. And by the way, uh, Topaz, uh, Sharpen AI is on sale right now, and I think this is the last day of its sale. There was a new update recently, um, and it's normally $79.99. It's on sale for $59.99, plus you'll save an additional 15% if you use my affiliate link in the description below. Just click on, click on that link, and uh, at checkout, use my promo code David Kelly. That's all one word, David Kelly and you'll save an additional 15% off that. Plus they have some deals and bundles and things like that. So I just wanted to let you know, this is the last day of the sale and hopefully after this video today, you'll say, man, I gotta have that software, it's really great. I love it, I swear by it. Hey, without any further ado, let's get started. I have uh, three extremely out of focus images here. This one of the bee and the flower. This one of a uh, portrait shot. And this one right here of some detail on an old car, okay? So let's go ahead and zoom into this B here. We'll work on this one first. But as you can see, it is extremely out of focus. And I'm going to show you a new trick that I learned today using Topaz Sharpen AI that will, will help when you have a case where something is really far out of focus. So let's get started here. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate the background layer. And I'll go ahead and launch uh, Sharpen AI. I have my auto update unchecked. And what I'm gonna do is, under mode, I love this new feature with the auto, so I'm gonna go ahead and click auto here, and it shows the focus mode. It is truly out of focus. And uh, the settings, I'm gonna do the auto on the settings. Now nothing happens yet until I click update. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update and let this do its thing. And already there, look at the result. Compare the left to the right. That is truly amazing. Now I could go ahead and try to take the sharpness up more. In fact, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and take it up more. And let's hit the update here. And yeah, that looks a little bit better, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the auto again. And I'm just gonna leave it on auto because for my little tip and trick, I think this works best if you just do the auto here, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. And here we are back in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at our image. So, and I'm zoomed in a good bit, as you can see here from my navigator. And uh, here is the before. Look how far out of focus that is. I mean, isn't that like magic? That's really incredible. But I think I can get some more sharpness out of this with my tip here for you. So here's my tip. Let me zoom this back out. Okay, my tip is let's duplicate the background layer. Let's run it one more time into uh, Sharpen AI. And we'll do a double sharpening. I've never done this before, but I think you're going to be quite happy with the results I get here. Now, again, I have the auto update preview uh, unchecked. And for all my uh, Sharpen AI um, jobs I do today, I will leave that unchecked. So let's go ahead and run auto again. And let's also run auto settings. And now we'll do the update and see what result we get. And look at the difference. Isn't that amazing? It is really, really good. In fact, what I might even do is just pull this sharpness back a little bit, just a tiny little bit and update it one more time. Yeah, look at that. I am totally happy with this. Let's go ahead and apply it. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit to about here. And now uh, let's compare this from the first sharpening result. So that was the first sharpening result, and it was really amazing because remember, we came from this, and then we sharpened it once and came to here. I mean, for all intents and purposes, that image could not be fixed by any piece of software that I know other than Topaz Sharpen AI. But there's the first sharpening result, and here's the second sharpening result. Pretty incredible. Again, the before and the after. Let me zoom back out. So we went from here, 
an image that was totally unusable, I would say a throwaway image, and we ended up looking like this. And now we have something that we can use. Now let's go on to the next image. And here's our second image. I mean, it's totally out of focus. Let me go ahead and zoom into it here. As you can see, look at the eyes and the hair. It's out of focus and unusable. And uh, let's see we can do what we can do with this one. So let's go ahead and duplicate the background layer and let's uh, send it into Topaz Sharpen AI. All right, here we are in Sharpen AI. So let's go ahead and auto. And it shows the stabilize mode. Let's click auto on the settings and see what settings we get. Now let's go ahead and update it and see what result we'll get here. Yeah, and pretty good results. Yeah, you know, we definitely have a lot more sharpness in this image. But this image is super out of focus. So let me see what happens if I give it a little bit more here. Click the update. Definitely looks better, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back and set this to auto because I'm going to use that little trick again where I do a double sharpening. So I'm back to the original. Let's go ahead and click apply. Here's the before and here's the after. Definitely moving in the right direction, but I am not happy with it yet. But I think I will be after I do another sharpening on it. Okay, so here it is up close and personal. Here's the before, way out of focus. Here's the after. So it's getting, it's going in the right direction, but I'm, to I'm totally not happy with it yet. But let's go ahead and duplicate this background and try this one more time. Sharpen AI. Let's go for auto again. And let's go for auto settings. And now let's click the update and see what kind of result we get. Wow. I mean, look at the, look at the skin here. That's looking really nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and accept this just the way it is. Maybe I'll just ease back on the sharpness just a tiny little bit. Let's click update. I'd rather be a little under sharpened, especially on a face like this and a little over sharpened. So let's go ahead and click apply. Here's before the second sharpening and here is after the second sharpening. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, right around there. That looks pretty good. Maybe just let's zoom in just a smidge more. Okay, so we started out looking like this. Look how soft and out of focus that is. I mean, a throwaway image. And here we are after. A totally usable image. Now here we go before our second sharpening. This is after the first sharpening, and this is with the second sharpening right here. So again, before and after. So I'm totally happy with these results. Pretty amazing software, I must admit. Now on to the last image. Let's go ahead and zoom into this one so we can really see. Look how soft it is. I mean, it's super soft all around it. Totally unusable, but kind of a cool image. I love old cars and especially detail shots like this of this exhaust system, I guess, coming out of this car. But at this point in time, man, it is totally out of focus and unusable, but... Let's, for the final time, launch Sharpen AI and see if we can bring life back to this image. Let's click Auto for the mode. And this time it shows Focus. I love this new feature here where it picks out what mode it feels is right. And it usually, I would say like 95% of the time, it does get it right. Now let's use the settings here for the Auto as well. Use the auto on the settings as well. And now let's click update and see what kind of job it will do. Looks pretty good. And again, I think I could probably take the sharpness and pull it up. Let's see what happens if I pull it up to 100%. Click update, Dave. Don't forget that. And it definitely does a better job. But I'm going to follow my little rule here for this new method and go back to auto here. And then just do a double sharpening on it. So let's click apply. Here's the before. Very, very out of focus. Here's the after. In focus, but 
I believe we can do more. And I, at this point in time, I think you're starting to say, yeah, Dave, I think you can do more here. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. And let's launch uh, Sharpen AI one final time. All right, I'm going to do auto for the mode again. And auto for the settings and update. Wow, that looks amazing. This is metal, so I'm going to break my rule and give it a little extra sharpening. Just a little bit extra. Let me click update. Yeah, I think I like it. Let me go ahead and apply it. And here it is. Let's look at the before the second sharpening. There's the before. Hey, it was really good because remember it started from here. And then it came to here with the first sharpening and then the second sharpening. Whoa, that looks really amazing. Let's go ahead and zoom into this guy and let's do some pixel peeping. Okay, here we go. This is uh, the first sharpening. This is the original. Look how soft and out of focus it is. I mean, totally unusable. First sharpening, second sharpening. Let's go ahead and move around and do some pixel peeping here. Wow, look at that. Looking really amazing. Even the reflection in here. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally impressed by this. So we had this image right here, this image, and this image. Three fixes, all with Sharpen AI. And again, these were extremely out of focus case images. And I wasn't sure if Sharpen AI could even fix them, but it did a great job. And this extra uh, sharpening technique, give that a try. I think you're going to really love it. Well, there it is, extreme cases, extreme out of focus images and some tips and tricks today. I hope you learned a lot, but we were able to come from this image here, which was totally unusable. This is the first one we started out with and we ended up with this. So pretty amazing results. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.